hello everyone so now let's do one basic stuff because some guys are still having some confusion because they are using the evng they have some ram issue so they are asking how we can use the switch unmanageable switch so in this tutorial i am going to show you we have one unmanageable switch also here we can use that one okay let me open this i will show you this is ip i am writing whatever ip i have evng i hope you already know that one right so i will open the evng okay now let me minimize this one and open this one if you see this is my evng let me log in i hope you know the login admin and eve so now we are login to the evng okay uh, let me create one new lab so what i will do i will go here in the ccna folder i will create one lab here i will give here un unmanageable switch or let me give switch basic lab okay so in this lab what we are learning we are learning how we can use the unmanageable switch because some guys uh, want to use the evng but if you take the manageable switch it is consuming 1 gb of ram so they don't want because they are not doing the lab for stp rstp mstp just they need for the connectivity purpose so here let me show you what i am doing i will take uh, two router okay or uh, let me take two router this is a r1 okay i am giving the r and here number of nodes i will write three i am writing using three router each router is going to consume 5 to 12 mb so now i have three router example imagine these are the pc and this is your dscp server okay let me change this icon i will write here dscp because in evng uh, what we will do we can use the windows server or we can use the router also and we can configure as a dscp server and we can use to do the lab so here i will select this one as a dscp server okay so what we can say this is a dscp server and this one we can say this is our pc okay i can say this is a pc so i will give the name pc1 pc1 and we can change the icon here we can check whatever pc icon we have we can use or we can say this is a laptop or desktop anything we can see okay because if you put the window window server or window it will take 4 gb ram each machine will consume the 4 gb ram window xp or like window 10 or any window if you take the window server it will consume 8 gb ram but many guys is having the low ram so we can do this way if you want to do the lab this way we can perform let me show you i am what i am doing here i am just taking the two router i make this two router as a pc okay and this is also one router i make this router as a server dscp server and let me take switch how we will take the switch unmanageable switch go here click network when you select this first one bridge that is nothing but unmanageable switch so i will write w as w okay and now i will connect this to our dscp server and i will connect this to our pc1 okay and i am going to connect this to pc2 so this way we can perform the lab because here how much ram is consuming 5 to 12 kb 5 to 12 kb 5 to 12 kb and this one is not taking the ram so this is a good option if you consider this one is a one of the best option why because if you install server dscp server like windows server it will consume 8 gb ram if you install window xp or window 7 4 gb ram 4 4 8 and here is 8 total 16 gb ram you need if you want to do lab in that scenario but here what we done we use the router okay so let me show you already i hope you know how we can configure the dscp server in the router i hope you already know that one no issue if you don't know let me show you also double click this one okay this is a dscp server i will double click it will open and here we can configure we can configure the dscp server we already done in our ccna ccnp many places we make the router as a dscp server we can do same thing here also okay and for the 
PC is, let me take the console of this one also. What I will do, double click, open this one, PC1. And I will take this one also, this is a PC2. And we will wait, it will take some time to load. After that we will do the configuration. So this is a DSCP server, still taking time. It will take time to load that one, okay. After that we need to do the configuration here, just assign the IP to this interface and configure the DSCP. Here we will write the, what we can say DSCP like, uh, I will write here, interface fast ethernet 0 by 0, IP address DSCP no shut. So with that one we will get, anyhow, this router I think started already. So let's see, this one IP schema, what IP schema we are going to use, let me give here 192.168.1.1. Slash 24. Okay, this is the IP we are going to give to our machine. And this one, any any color you want, whatever you need. So this is the IP address of the DSCP server. Let me take the DSCP server. This is the DSCP server. I will write here no. And let me go to our machine. This is a PC one. I will write no here also. And let me check one more here. The PC two. I will write here also no. Okay, it will take some time. Meanwhile, we can go and configure the DSCP server. So here I will do enable config T and then host name I will give DSCP DSCP server. You can give any name. Then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. I will assign the IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and write no shut here. Okay. This way we assign the IP. After that we need to configure the DSCP. If you want to configure, go in the config T and then we will write the DSCP. IP, DSCP pool, IP, DSCP pool and put the question mark. It will ask you the pool name. I will give ABC. And after that what we will give? We will give network. Network. If you have confusion, press question mark. What IP? So I will write 192.168.1.0. And if you have confusion, press question mark. I will press enter and then default uh, ro default router. I will write 192.168.1.1, the gateway. Okay. And uh, then press enter. After that, we can write show, show IP DSCP pool. If you see this one, we configure. So what we configure is start the IP range from 1.1 till 1.254 and this is the gateway. So this is a configuration we done. Now for this machine, the PC, let's see he is getting the IP or not from the DSCP. So what we will do, we will do same thing here. This is a PC1, we will write enable config T, host name PC1, then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0, I will write IP address DSCP no shut. Okay, we will wait WR to save the configuration and we can check did we get the IP from DSCP or not okay let me write show IP interface brief still if you see here we configured the DSCP but still we did not get the IP let me save the configuration and if you see now we get the IP from the DSCP this is the IP if you want let me write show IP interface brief if you see we get the IP 192.168.1.1 .1. and let me show you the gateway Gateway how I will check in the router show IP route. If you see this is the gateway. If any traffic will come forward that all traffic towards this one. So I am getting the IP as well as the gateway in the PC1. Now I need to do for the PC2. So I will go to PC2. Here I will write enable config T host name PC2. Then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. IP address DSCP then no shut. This way we, we can do the lab. Imagine this is your PC1, PC2. So this is your DSCP server. So no need to worry. Even if you have the 4 GB RAM, it will work because here we taken half GB, half GB, half GB. That's all. If you want to run the real thing, here 8 GB RAM, here 4 GB RAM, here 4 GB RAM. 16 GB RAM you need. But here you need to learn the concept. Concept is important. You can learn the concept this way also. Okay, even if you have low RAM, you can learn the concept in this way. If you see for this machine, we get the IP. Okay, if you want to check, we can check also. We can write here. Let me show you. I am saving the configuration here. Show IP interface brief. 
I get the IP 1.3. Okay, this is a 1.3. If you want to ping, I will ping the DSCP server IP. What is the DSCP server IP? 1.1. See, it is working perfectly. If you want to check the route, did we get or not? We get the default gateway. Anything we need to forward to this IP. This is a DSCP IP. So this way we can configure. No need to worry. Some guys are confused. They are worried. I have only 4 GB, 8 GB RAM. How I can do? You can do. We have so many options. Okay. Concept is important. We can use router as a DSCP server. We can use this PC the router as a PC. So this way we can perform our lab. Okay. Thank you. See you. Bye.